Hey everyone, I'm Flash and welcome to sportsbookreview.com with all the sports around the world that you can bet on this week, I've got you covered. I will also add some politics and at the end, the current sportsbook casino and poker promotions. I'll pick out a couple of favourites just for you. So let's start off with Wednesday, April the 1st and we're not falling around here with five games from the powerhouse of the Central American Football League, the Nicaragua Liga Primera, which includes the clash of the titans between leaders Managua, who hosts second place Rio Esteli. Who needs a Champions League, eh? Also on Wednesday, we have ice hockey from Belarus, whoop whoop, where the final series is two games in and it's evenly poised at one apiece between Soligorsk and Umos Minsk. If that's not enough, then eSports has got you covered. Flashpoint Season 1, Dota 2 and ESL Pro League. Head over to sbrpicks.com where our eSports expert Adam Booth has his picks and article to guide you. And by the way, he's just the 29 units up on Dota 2. Thursday, April the 2nd, and it's a four-day festival of racing from Gulfstream Park. It gets underway with nine races on Thursday and Friday. The bell will also be ringing at Oaklawn Park and Golden Gate Fields. You must not forget though, game four in the ice hockey from Belarus also goes. Friday, April the 1st looks like being a big day of sport across the globe, with all eyes being on Santa Anita Racetrack, who are currently closed and awaiting guidance on being able to open for a three-day meeting that includes Saturday, the two biggest races on the Santa Anita calendar, the Group 1s, the Santa Anita Oaks for the Phillies and the Santa Anita Derby for the Colts, which are part of the road to the Kentucky Derby series. And I please, please get the go-ahead there and it's fingers crossed for all concerned. If this does not get the thumbs up, then don't despair as Oakland Park, Golden Gate Fields and the Tampa Bay Downs joins the party to keep us entertained. And remember, for game fives needed in Belarus between Soligorsk and Yulmos Minks, then that's going to be an absolute cracker. You can always rely on Belarus because from Friday to Sunday, we have eight soccer games as they start week three of their new season. Currently, four teams have a 100% record, and like Nicaragua a few days before, first plays second. So something must give, and I'm not even going to start trying to pronounce them names. So, Saturday and Sunday is sport all the way, with the horses leading the way at Gulfstream, Tampa Bay, Oaklawn Park, and again at Golden Gate Fields. Although I'm really hoping that Santa Anita gets the go-ahead. Also remember to visit the articles on sbrpicks.com for the latest on Flashpoint Season 1, Dota 2, and ESL Pro League, which are going on all week. And thanks again, Mr. Up29 Points, Adam Booth. Uh, if all this is all too serious for you, then how about some MMA props with John Jones. Arrested again before the end of 2020. John Jones spends another night in jail before the end of 2020. That's a flip of a coin for me. John Jones to be stripped of the USC belt before the end of 2020. Will John Jones fight again this year? Some good ones there, but let's take a minute to thank President Trump for his efforts at keeping the next presidential race so close meaning that we were going to get great value whichever way we lean. Now you'll find all picks to bet on at sbrpicks.com. Press the link in the description and enjoy. I will leave you with my favourite sportsbook casino and poker offers, and they are from Heritage, NBA and NHL Boost. Customers who keep their accounts funded between now and the restart of the EVA season I will have their accounts topped up with a 20% cash bonus based on their account balance. And the other one is Bavada Poker, $10,000 daily free roll poker tournaments. This is brilliant. Thanks for joining me. Now, go get them winners, and I'll be back next week, and we will go again. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.